Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Welcome back to Jim Brown's Common Sense. Now, here's your host and professor of Thinkology, Jim Brown. In fact, I said earlier we'll be broadcasting from New York City next week. When I go up on Wednesday, I think I'm going to fly out of here on Wednesday to see some grandkids up in New York, and uh, I'll be landing on the, right over the Hudson River in LaGuardia, and a new film came out this week called Sully. Uh, remember the pilot, uh, the, the dramatic uh, savior uh, on the Hudson River of uh, Chelsea Sully Sullenberger, uh, who landed the plane on the water. Nobody lost their lives. Very dramatic motion picture starring Tom Hanks out today and one of the issues in the movie is the investigators after the uh, after the plane landed there was concern about the uh, the investigators looking at the accident uh, becoming almost prosecutors raising a lot of serious questions about the actions of the pilots I want to talk about that a little bit because we're all concerned about uh, safety if you will particularly with this new movie coming out Ken Jenkins is joining me he's an aviation consultant uh, uh, who is works with airlines all around the globe, and uh, uh, he's very familiar with the protocol and practices of the National, uh, I guess, Transportation Safety Board that looks into these uh, investigations. Got Ken here with me now. Hey, Ken, good morning. Welcome to the Common Sense Show. And thank you for the invitation. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, have you, you probably heard about the movie. Have you had a chance to see it yet, Ken? I did. I have seen the movie. Well, I wish I had. I'm hoping to go maybe later on today, but uh, anything Tom Hanks does is a first-rate motion picture. Then you've got Clint Eastwood, who's gone from this uh, icon of an actor into a director-producer of motion pictures mm-hmm. behind it. But uh, I read a comment from Eastwood. He said this. He says, until I read the script, I didn't know the investigative board was trying to paint the picture that he, Sullenberger, had done the wrong thing. They were kind of railroading him into what was into it was his fault. Uh, Eastwood said about the movie. Now, you know, you you uh, uh, an aviation consultant work with airlines. Tell us just what is the process when uh, something like this happens. Uh, I know you've got to investigate. So I don't want it to happen again. But is there a, a specific process that goes through that the airlines come in and investigate? And and I'm just trying to figure out what all the controversy is about. Well, there. There's, um, yes, there is a process, Jim, and it's a very detailed process, and it's a very methodical process. Um, I did see the film yesterday, um, which, a note to self, I don't know that I'd go see it on the, the weekend of the 15-year anniversary of September 11th, albeit it is somewhat of a feel-good story. Um, but I, I was very dismayed to, to see how the National Transportation Safety Board was portrayed as, I think, the word you used, as prosecutors. Um, it was very heavy-handed in the film that they were really looking to blame Captain Sullenberger in the movie for uh, the, 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 the water landing, as he says in the movie, that it wasn't a crash, it was a water landing in the Hudson. And as part of the investigative process, certainly one of the aspects is going to be, can you make it back, could he have made it back to an airport, whether it was Peterborough or LaGuardia, or any other airport, and that that would be something that would be investigated. But to the point in the movie where it's almost a you could have landed safely at an airport versus the water was um, was very overwhelming because it, and I can't give away the movie. It, it was not the case, and um, it, it was just I have to say it was heavy handed. It is not the NTSB that I know. They're very impartial. Um, they're certainly doing their best to find out the cause of an accident and not necessarily point the blame um, unless it's warranted. Um, in this case, I don't know that it was warranted. Yeah. Well, you know, if I remember correctly, and again, like you say, we don't want to give away uh, so much of the movie to so many of our listeners, but uh, uh, a large flock of geese ended up uh, uh, plummeting into both engines, which is a danger when you fly. And uh, really, if I remember correctly, weren't both engines knocked out? That is correct. Both engines were, were knocked out. And, you know, I stepped back and I, as I was watching the film yesterday, and I, I thought it was very um, accurate. It's very realistic how they reenact the entire accident. The part that I found very um, uh, embellished, if you will, would be the, in, the, the actual hearings that took place and how quickly they took place. 
and the demeanor of the folks on the panel that were conducting uh, the hearings. Um, that has just not been the experience that, that I have heard about and through the accidents that I've responded to. Um, I'm sure there's some element of truth to it. Captain Sellenberger was an advisor to the, uh, the movie, but I also know that it is Hollywood, and there's going to be embellishment to make it a more entertaining, if you will, a visceral feeling experience to watch the, the film. And, and from that perspective, it certainly raised emotions for me. Well, I think you make a good point there about uh, about the fact that we certainly want a full investigation of any plane crash that takes place so so you can learn uh, that it doesn't happen again. All of us are flying so darn much, and and, uh, and I, like I say, I'm going to fly right over the Hudson River uh, into LaGuardia Airport here in about four days, so I certainly want all the checks and balances to take place, and you, you expect the federal agency to come in and, and eat the entire thing apart. Uh, but I'm glad you clarified that because, again, the movie, from what I gather, portrays, uh, uh, you know, almost like the KGB coming or the Gestapo coming in to, to investigate uh, the National Transportation Safety Board's investigation, you know, so uh, uh, so aggressive. And, uh, uh, and so what was the, what was the movie uh, uh, Denzel Washington did where he flew the plane upside down? Right, uh, the movie Flight. Yeah, flight, a great motion picture, and it showed the process of the board. It seemed like that was a pretty fair balance. I mean, the guy, had, you know, had been very heavily drinking. Looked like he saved the plane, but still, you want that kind of thing investigated. So I applaud the National Transportation Safety Board's investigations, and I'm glad you clarified that because it, uh, you know, it. When I read what was happening, you kind of, you want a balance and you want fairness, and here's a guy that's an American hero, and all of a sudden he's portrayed as someone that made a the wrong decision in not at least trying to land at a different airport. So uh, yeah, no, uh, you're you're exactly right, and and in in my um, working with the board and primarily on the humanitarian side of things, and then um, listening to accident investigators explain explain to families what they're finding at the scene, and then the subsequent hearings that take place. They are after and uh, every piece of information that they can obtain to determine the various aspects of safety that need to be approached. So with regards to had he been drinking, uh, had he been doing any drugs, what was family life like, all those kinds of things are normal questions in the aftermath of a disaster and, and, and regulated to some, some degree by the Department of Transportation that there need to be blood tests and urine tests and things of that nature. So that part didn't surprise me. I knew that that was going to come. Uh, but in the film, there is um, a, quite a bit of hostility, it seems, towards the pilots. And my concern is that people will walk away thinking that the board operates that way on a day-to-day basis, and that's just simply not the case in my experience. They're there to find out what happened and to prevent it from happening again. Ken, you're an aviation consultant. Tell me what kind of work do you do in that regard. I mean, you work all over the world, but what do do private airlines call on you? Who calls on you to give them advice to work out particular problems? Tell me how that works in the aviation business, and so many of my listeners are really that familiar with it. Sure, Jim. It's, it's typically business aviation, commercial aviation, and airports. I've, um, by way of a biography and very quickly, I have 30 years in the aviation industry, 26 years with American Airlines. And during my tenure with American, we had the unfortunate experience of eight fatal events, including the two planes um, that American, uh, of American Airlines that were used as weapons of mass destruction in 9-11. And our department, uh, albeit a small department, we were the emergency response department that planned station emergency response and what our teams at each station, how they would respond and interact with airport police and fire and immediate family members and friends that would show up at the airport looking for loved ones. And then on top of that, we we had a huge humanitarian response on 9-11, for example, American Airlines, along with United. Um, But American sent almost 600 employees out to various locations um, of where the planes um, were de- either de- or took off from Jim and landed, and then in this case also New York City, one of the accident locations, to work with families in the aftermath. So we would right, train. Ken. Hey, Ken, yeah. we're on a deadline, unfortunately. That's we're right. out of time. I, I want to tell our listeners you can find all about Ken and his companies at, on our website at www.jimbrownusa.com. Ken, Ken, thanks for being here. Hope we can talk to you again soon. Take care. Hey, you're welcome, Jim. Thank you. Common sense. Right here on the Genesis Communications Radio Network at GCNlive.com.